There is a man at the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Just tell you his story. His name was nicknamed Ibn Sayyad, Safi Ibn Sayyad. His name was Safi, son of Sayyad. Has anyone heard about him, Safi Ibn Sayyad? No. Tell you. We'll tell you his story. This man, Safi Ibn Sayyad, he lived at the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And he was a young boy who was raised originally from a Jewish family. And he hated the Prophet Sallallahu immensely. He was grown to hate him a lot. And they used to say that this young boy, Safi ibn Sayyad, he was able to tell you what you're thinking. He had these certain abilities. True story. And it's in the Sahih. So it's not something made up. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam heard about him. And he wanted to go one day to find out whether he was really the Dajjal or not. He goes, Umar ibn al-Khattab was with him. And they were going towards the village where Safi ibn Sayyid was. And he was sitting down, playing with something, when his mother, when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was trying to come, Umar al-Khattab describes, he says, he's coming from tree to tree. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is hiding behind the trees, trying to come closer to this boy, to try and hear what he's saying. He was saying some things, he wanted to hear him, what he says. As Rasul approached Safi very closely, he got very close and started to hear what he's saying. Suddenly the boy's mother saw the Prophet and she said, Ya Safi, Daka Muhammad. Muhammad's there, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Safi looked up and stopped talking. He started getting angry. <laughs> like that, he hated him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for no reason. Rasul Sallallahu said, if only his mother didn't see me, I could have listened for a few more words and I would have known whether he is the Dajjal or not. Because people were talking about him being the Dajjal himself. That he will rise from there and he will be the Dajjal. Rasul Sallallahu said to the boy, he said, أَخْبَأْتُ لَكَ شَيْئًا I hit something inside of my, my brain, inside of my, my chest, that I want you to try and figure out what it is. And the boy looked, frowned a bit, and he said, Ad-dukh, ad-dukh, I can only get ad-dukh, ad-dukh. The Prophet ﷺ said, La ala qadruk, may your power never rise beyond that. And Rasul ﷺ said to him, Do you believe that I am the messenger of God? He said, Only if you believe that I am the messenger of God. So he's a bit of a cocky dude, isn't he? I'm the messenger of God. Prophet Sallallahu got up and left. Umar al-Khattab asked him, what was that ad What did you hide inside of you? What was that, that word that you kept hidden? He said, I hid the word ad-dukhan. Ad-dukhan, which means the smoke. And he guessed half of it. This man, Safi, this boy, Safi ibn Sayyid, grew up. And he lived in Medina. He actually embraced Islam. And he got married. And they say that he had something like ten children. And, one, and, and the companions used to avoid him. They, they couldn't trust being around him. One day, they're coming back for, they went to do Hajj. And they're coming back from Hajj. And on the way, a companion of the Prophet ﷺ was sitting next to, him, like, t- next to a shade under a tree, resting. And then Safi ibn Sayyid got his luggage up and sat next to this companion. And the companion looked at him and he sort of didn't want him to be next to him. And he said to him, look, there's lots of shade around. You can go and sit somewhere else. So he started to cry. Safi ibn Sayyid cried. He said to him, why are, you, why are you crying? He said, about what everyone's saying about me. That I'm the Dajjal and all of that stuff. And he looked at him and said, you should know of all people. This companion was an Ansari from Medina. You are very knowledgeable. You should know that a Dajjal is not a Muslim, and I'm a Muslim. He cannot get married, and I'm married. He cannot have children, and I have children. And he cannot enter Mecca or Medina, and here I am. The companion said, Wallah, he's right. You have a point. Then Safi ibn Sayyid said to him, But you know what? That name is quite nice. It's a cool name to call me a Dajjal with all those powers. I wouldn't mind if I was actually him. And the companion got up and said, Please stay away from me. And he walked away from him. 
And while Safi Ibn Sayyid was laughing. So this man was a very strange person. You know. After the Prophet's death, there was the, uh, that great fight, that great war that happened with Musaylam al kadhab where uh, hundreds of memorizers of the Qur'an were murdered. And they looked, Safi Ibn Sayyid was fighting with them, and they looked for his body, and they say, we could never find him neither among the dead or the living. And all of his children died. And his wife died. And after that battle, they couldn't find him at all. He vanished. This is the story of Ibn Sayyad. Or Ibn Sa'id, is also called. So, Allahu A'lam, whether he was, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu used to say, I used to say in front of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wallahi, he is the Dajjal. And the Prophet wouldn't deny what I said, nor would he confirm. He'd just stay quiet. So the matter of, of, of the Dajjal is quite a very uh, peculiar and, and uh, confusing one until he actually arrives.